Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Marriage Master. So as you can see here, I have uh, downloaded a really cool church that somebody made on Planet Minecraft, and I'm going to use it today to show you this plugin. So it's a really awesome marriage plugin, the best I've ever seen. It's got so many cool features, and it's pretty much got infinite um, roleplay potential. So first of all, uh, what we're going to do is actually get married. So I have my other account here who's going to be a wife, husband, or whatever. Um, so as you can see, um, in chat, I have done forward slash marry, and then my two accounts like this. This is how you do it. And if they do forward slash marry accept, and if you do it as well, um, that is how you get married. So if we look now, um, it has said, I now pronounce you husband and wife, blah, 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 uh, like people do in real life. Uh, and that is how you get married, um, so uh, that's pretty cool. And if we do forward slash marry, it will show us all of the commands. So, uh, first of all, you have to be in a 25 block radius. You can also divorce, which is very sad, and uh, the radius applies to that as well. You can set a priest, which is cool. Uh, I've never seen that feature before. And you can set a home. So, uh, have we got a house nearby? No, we haven't. So we're just going to set the home outside the church. Uh, so let's do that here. So we are going to do four slash marry set home uh, Which is cool and then obviously you can do four slash marry home to teleport back Which is a very cool feature you can even listen to your players chat So you can do a bit of snooping to make sure they're not cheating or whatnot, which is uh, Hilarious, it's absolutely funny that they've added that uh, So listen chat and now we can see what they're typing uh, to make sure it's nothing bad um, <laughs> I can't believe it, but uh, let's see what else we can do. So you can actually uh, have a private chat with your partner. So you can do marry chat toggle, and now we'll be in private chat. Uh, and there's a nice heart symbol, and you can see your partner there and whatnot. And obviously you can turn that off, so we're now in public chat as well. And there is a cool prefix to show that you are in fact engaged uh, to someone. So uh, yeah, this plugin pretty much has it all. Uh, you can obviously delete your home if you want. You can give your partner a gift. So we are going to give them um, a poisonous potato. I wouldn't suggest giving this to your uh, partner, but we're going to do it anyway. So uh, marry gift and we've given <laughs> your partner one poisonous potato. Uh, so that is how you do that. You can obviously do four slash marry kiss as well. Uh, like that and there are some nice particle effects. So I've just switched over to my other account who received the poisonous potato as a gift and uh, we have been sent a divorce notification so we can either accept or deny that. Uh, it's kind of weird that you can deny a divorce but uh, apparently you can. Uh, but we're going to accept that uh, it's, it's not working, we've got to end this and um, Donald Duck has to uh, go his own way. So uh, that is pretty much everything in the plugin. Um, we've covered everything. It's got some really funny and cool features. I just the the chat's really cool. The uh, the snooping, the eavesdropping, I should say, um, to make sure. <laughs> I can't believe that. Um, and we have the home and the teleporting, which is very cool. Uh, obviously, the uh, marrying and divorcing. But overall, it's a really cool plugin. Uh, you can edit various messages and whatnot in the config files. So we're going to have a quick look in there before we end the video. So here we are in the Marriage Master folder. And as you can see, there are two files and two folders. So the Priest and Players uh, files are completely blank at the moment. But we do have the Language files. So in here, it has all of the different messages which you could edit if you really wanted to. Um, so we have the economy, so you can charge people to get married. Um, it is very expensive in real life, so that's fair enough. Um, and we have the dialogue, so you, you could change this to whatever you wanted. You can make this quite hilarious, to be honest. Uh, no, I will not uh, be married or something. Um, so the roleplay potential, as I said earlier, is just... It's, it, it's insane, quite frankly. Um, and here we have all of the messages the priest says, so that's very, very cool. And we, if we go into the config file, we have um, lots of different things. So let's go ahead and look at the economy. So you can charge uh, people to teleport to their significant other. You can charge to send a gift. Obviously, you need to post that. It would cost something. Um, 
You can get bonus XP if you're married, that's very cool. You can enable or disable a prefix whether you want that, or a suffix. Uh, I'm not really a fan of suffixes, I've just never used it in uh, servers I've had in the past. Uh, wait time, heart count, you can change all of these, and you can change the range of various different things. So that is very, very cool. Up here, allow self-marry, as uh, so you can say that's true or false. You can have surnames, wow, that's getting very involved there. Um, and you can allow gifts in creative, obviously you probably wouldn't want that, or people could cheat. Uh, so it's best to keep that false. And uh, you can inform your partner when they join to that. So that's a nice feature. And obviously allow block PvP. You don't want uh, domestic violence incidents on your server. So uh, yeah, that is the plugin. It's, uh, oh, it's been making me chuckle the whole way through. But you can download it and make your server a lot more interesting uh, by having people marry each other. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.